it's very moving to have uh, so many people here today and from all different generations uh, to, to commemorate such an important day. Um, but to, to work with young people and survivors and refugees to keep the legacy of hope, remember, and the torch remembrance uh, going forward, that's my kind of way of understanding and passing a message on. But the actual uh, comprehending, I don't think I ever will, the, 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 the uh, tragedy of what actually happened to six million people, it doesn't, I can't work it out, but to give something back to, and to ensure that the Jewish community perpetuates moving forward through young people and, and, and other parts of the community, that's my way of uh, remembering on Yom HaShoah. Is it important to remember the six million Jews that died in uh, the Holocaust? Yes, um, because uh, they didn't uh, need to be killed because they were innocent people and we will always remember them. Um, my message is rem remember all the Jewish people that died in, in the remembrance Holocaust. Remember them and never forget what happened. So it's a very sentimental day where we remember all the people that lost their lives in the Holocaust. Is it, is it important to have events such as this? Absolutely, absolutely, because as the older generation move on, the younger generation needs to be coming in and telling the story. It's very important. And remembering. Yeah, absolutely. And do you think the young members of our community appreciate what people went through during the Holocaust? I think as they get older they begin to, maybe not so when they're so young, I think, yeah. but I think they do know, I know my children for a start do know, we've always taught them what it means. Yeah. I think I think possibly the junior age that we've got here are starting to, um, and they do it at school. But uh, um, as I would say, I mean my daughter's just 13 and starting to understand it a lot more. And the role of the JLGB at Yom HaShoah? Uh, we've got uh, our sergeants stewarding and helping to set up. Um, we've got our uh, pre-bar and bat mitzvah children singing um, with the composer of the song. Um, and I think it mean makes the song a lot more meaningful, listening to the children singing. They stood in here, what did they know? They stood so brave. Where could they go? On this day, hear us pray Each prayer meant for you The Yom HaShoah Yikatevu How could it be The world was blind Was no one there To make a stand I think the, it's a message of hope that we will survive. And never to forget. Yes. 
never forget because this is not just about the Jews this is about all the people who perished all the people who perished and do you think the international local community have learned lessons from the Holocaust Yes, I do. I think a lot of people have learnt lessons. I think so. I don't think it will ever, ever happen again, and it can't ever happen again. I think it's important that we do come every year to remember um, what happened in the Holocaust, and it's quite nice that we can do it out at the uh, National Memorial here in Hyde Park. This time last year, I was out in Poland, we went to all the different concentration camps, um, and it kind of drove home the reality of how difficult things were, um, and that really it's quite a miracle that we're still here today, able to tell the story. Do you think it's important to go to places such as Poland? Absolutely. Um, I'd seen pictures, I'd seen videos, but nothing really explained it like actually going there and feeling it kind of first hand. Youth is such an important part of, of the legacy moving forward and we had representation from all different youth movements today, B'nai Akiva uh, and from others as well. So it's important that, uh, that all young people are involved and uh, just very proud obviously of JOGB uh, stewarding and the young juniors singing the song as well. So uh, on two levels, uh, immensely proud.